What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're going to be discussing my prediction for when the party never ends will release. I'm going to go over my time frame that I'm kind of expecting to start seeing the rollout and everything really start kicking off. But before we do start, make sure to check out the second channel, Complex 2. Link to that's in the description down below. Also want to shout out to all the channel members. Big shout out to all of you guys for supporting me. And lastly, follow me over on Instagram at Complex Productions 999 and my Twitter at Complex Discuss. And with all this being said, well, let's just dive on into the video. Also do want to give a shout out to one of my Discord homies x perks he actually has his own discord server that i think you guys should join if you are a fan of juice the link of it will be listed in the description down below to join it it's called top of the world it's a server and just make sure to check it out a link to it will be in the description down below he's a really cool guy he's been supporting me for a minute now so big shout out to him but with all this being said let's get into the news and then the prediction all right real quick before we do get into my prediction for the party never ends i do have one piece of news i just want to throw in here last night it actually ended up surfacing that there was an all Girls Are the Same Remix featuring Mosey, and this ended up leaking, so you guys can go check this out if you want. I don't think it would ever drop or anything like that, so honestly, it's one of those leaks that it doesn't really matter if you listen to, but if you do listen to it, let me know what you guys think about it in the comments down below, but with this being said, let's get started. So, obviously, The Party Never Ends was teased by Bibby back in, like, 2021. That was going to be the second Posthumous Juice album, and we already know what happened with all that, and I will do a history video kind of diving in more specifically about everything regarding this album once we get closer to it so i'm not going to get too much into that discussion but obviously we know that after fighting demons released bibby went out to tweet out that we party in like june of 2022 or at least in summer of 2022 so that's kind of like the first hint at a release time for this album but we have to keep in mind that bibby has kept saying that these leaks are making him delay it or possibly even cancel it now while personally i think that bibby's just saying that to kind of build up hype and everything so rabbit and stuff post it don't get me wrong i do think bibby and grade a are pretty angry and frustrated with all the leaks but i don't think it would really cause them to cancel this album i think that we will still see the party never ends released this summer and now that we have the official and finished version of fighting demons with sometimes rich and blind legends go hard 2.0 and cigarettes on it i think we're officially done with the fighting demons era and now we are moving on to the party never ends era or the rollout and i think that anywhere where from late April to any time in May, we are going to see the first single for the Party Never Ends release. And if you guys follow me on Twitter or you watched my Perfect Party Never Ends tracklist video, you already know that the single that I want the most for the Party Never Ends, at least for the lead single, would probably be Biscotti. Not only is that my grail, it's not leaked, and it would just fit the Party Never Ends so well. But I do have a couple other options that I think would work great as singles. I think that the best case scenario for me at least, and I think the community wouldn't even be upset with this, is that we get Biscotti and Rental as the lead singles to the party never ends we get one sometime in april and then we get the other one sometime in may and then we get the party never ends in june or july or they guess they could push one single back to june if we're not going to get the album till july but another case scenario that I thought of could be we could just get Rental and GoPro. I think that both of those would be great lead singles going into the Party Never Ends as well. And I also have seen a lot of people bring up Gamble. I know that that's a super hype snippet right now. And honestly, that could be pretty accurate because they will probably have to put a feature on Gamble. We know that it has an open on it. So I think that having a feature on one of the lead singles is something that they would just do. We obviously saw them do that with Legends Never Die. We saw them do it with Fighting Demons. They will probably drop a feature song for lead singles so i could literally see biscotti gopro rental if they can get it cleared or gamble all be in a lead single for this album but now that we have that out of the way i think we'll get the first single sometime in april and then probably the second one sometime in may unless the album's not dropping until july then i would say we'll probably get both singles anywhere from april to june of 2022 but as for the actual party never ends itself like i said i think that the party never ends will release any time between june or july i'm pretty sure bibby specifically said something about june but we never know exactly what's going on and we don't even know what's going on with certain tracks and everything because we don't have a lead single yet but personally i think that june would probably be the best month to drop the party never ends i think that it just being summer it's a party type album with all hype songs i think it would just work perfect for it to be in june and i think i could see it doing better in june but also july would not be a bad month either i just don't want to see us get the party never ends 
ends in like August or September or whatever, what was kind of happening or seemed like it was going to happen with the last version. I think that this album needs to be ready to go in June or July. I think that those are the perfect months to drop a hype juice album called The Party Never Ends. But that's basically everything. I think we went over all the single stuff that I thought and I went over when I think The Party Never Ends will release. But I want to know what you guys think. I obviously already have an official track list video of tracks that I personally would rather see on the album. So check that out if you want. I'll leave a link to it up above. And with all this being said, guys, thank you for watching and supporting me. And we'll see you in the next video.